Hey, what's up, Tomoka? Jason here. As we continue our devotional through Matthew 10, we're gonna pick things up right in 10, verse 37, where Jesus says, whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. You know, I gotta just be honest with you. This is um, some incredibly convicting scripture. I think for all of us, you know, as a dad, and I look at my two boys, uh, Gideon's five and Zion's 18 months, and man, my heart explodes with love for them. They're amazing. I love them dearly as, as my sons. But what Jesus is saying isn't don't love them. What Jesus is saying that in comparison to me, that, that I am your highest priority. And, and I think that's really what it comes down to. Is Jesus the highest priority of my life? Is that reflected by how I'm loving him with my time, my talent, and my treasures? compared to my family. You know, I recognize kids these days, we can be so busy trying to be good parents and taking them to school functions, practices, and, and running around so much that we lose sight of, of our true love in Jesus. And so that's really what Jesus is saying, is, is to be the highest priority. But then he goes on and, and he says, who does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Who doesn't take his cross, um, that's a hard verse, if we're honest. I don't know if you've seen The Passion of Christ or what you know really about the crucifixion, but it was brutal. Um, what Jesus endured was just um, by the hands of Romans. They were professional executioners. You know, I heard a, a theologian once say, Jesus didn't die on the cross so we wouldn't have to. He died on the cross to show us how. And, and Jesus gives us this vivid picture of what it means to the tearing of our flesh to continually checking our flesh and the desires of this world and, and where our hearts really lie. Because that's how he closes up this section when he says, whoever finds his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. You know, that's countercultural to, to really how we live in the world today. That by giving away, you gain. By losing, you find. By dying, you truly live. And, and that's the way it is with Jesus. He's laying that out so clear here in Matthew 10 that for us, there's some things that we need to die to, to truly live. There's, there's things that really need to, to go to death, that need to be put on the cross. You know, but to truly find life in Him, He's our ultimate priority, our number one love. Because one thing I know to be true is this, that, that as I'm loving Jesus, my love for Him enables me to love my wife better, to love my sons better, to love those around me better. And so I don't know what that is for you and what those areas in your life, but I wanna invite you to read it for yourself. Check it out and, and ask God and see what he would speak to your heart. Of those areas, is there a priority that's higher than him right now in your life? Is there an area that, that, that needs to be put to death? Is there an area of your life of desire that needs to go away? What is that for you?